Hello, Pepper Potting fans. I'm Kevin Reaper, and this is My Sans 3 Minutes Max. In the next number of episodes, I don't know how many, we'll just keep going until it's done, we are going to be exploring uh, digital forensics as it pertains to USB devices. Uh, obviously, USB devices are ubiquitous. They're used by pretty much everybody. And rare is the computer that has not had a USB device plugged into it. Now, whether that be a USB stick or a removable USB drive or, quite frankly, a phone, an iPod, something like this, plugged in via USB and used to exchange data. What we're going to be doing in this series is looking at what we can find forensically about a USB device that's been plugged into the system. Uh, the entire life cycle from plugging it in to how often it's been used, the serial number, uh, I should say serial numbers. Uh, surprise, surprise, we're going to find out that USB devices actually have two serial numbers. So which one is your tool reporting and how can you tell the difference between the two? We're going to be looking at things like when was it first inserted? When was it last uh, inserted? When was it last removed? Uh, who used it? Who had it plugged in? Uh, a number of these different types of things, volume, serial numbers, all of this activity that tracks that USB device. Now, there are tools out there that will allow us to do this in an automated fashion. And for example, USB Detective, uh, probably, arguably the best tool out there, an automated tool. It does cost money, uh, worth every penny, I might add. Uh, and, and it gives you a lot of features that help you track even more than just the USB device itself. However, I always say from day one, when you are doing something forensic related, you must be able to explain how it works. Uh, uh, how did you get that information? So it's great to use a tool like USB Detective to get you that, that view of all of the devices plugged in. But if your investigation comes down to one particular device, it behooves you to walk through the system manually and get the artifacts relating to this USB device so that if you're challenged on where did you get this, how did you collect this, how does this even come to be? You're not just saying, well, I used a tool and it does that. Uh, I didn't verify the tool. So that's what we're going to be doing for the next uh, number of episodes. But in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.